Well, good morning, Lionhearts. It's your old pal Jordan the Lion coming to you live from Sintra with a Frank Zappa shirt on. Well, we're going to go explore more of the city because this is pretty much, well, literally the last full day we have here in Sintra. Tomorrow we're going to take off and we're going to go back to Lisbon. And there's a handful of things I want to see. First off, last night was great. I wish I would have filmed some of it, but sometimes you need moments where you don't film. I came back to where I was staying at the Airbnb. I met a girl who was also staying there who told me she kind of does what I do. She travels around the world, except she makes her own jewelry and sells it. Invited me to go out with some of her friends and we had one of the best meals I've ever had in my life. I had something that they invented in Porto that I didn't get to try in Porto called Francesquita and it was amazing. So now we're gonna go out and have another amazing day. Days of Jordan the Lion begins now. Actually, what I think I had last night was called Francesina. I think I may have pronounced that wrong, but it's so good. If you ever come to Portugal, try it. Right now, we're working our way down to the city center because I want to take a bus out to a place called Caba de Roca. And one great thing I'll say about today, so far, no rain. Oh, look at that. I love that. All right, I think we're supposed to catch the uh, the bus over here somewhere. Wow, check this out. This is inside the train station. So I guess this bus will get us to Cabo de Ro Well, we've made it to Cabo de Roca. The end of the line here in Portugal. Now when I was eating with my friends last night, they said, be very careful up here. People have died many times trying to take good selfies off these cliffs and fallen over. Let's make our way over to that cross and take a look. Definitely a popular stop out here. But it's just one of the, f eh, we're gonna do three or four different places today. But this was the furthest, the most beautiful, why not start here? They do have quite a bit of a walking trail over here though that you can see quite a bit of the coast from here, which I love. The rocks. See all these people out here taking different trails? Looks like the end of the line over here, so let's go take a look from that viewpoint. There you can see over on those rocks, some explorers have made their way all the way over there. That's nuts. Look at this beautiful countryside. Welcome to heaven. You guys are gonna love our next stop if you love this. It's gonna be completely opposite, but just as beautiful. Not a bad place to chill. Well, let's go find a bus and go to our next stop. I wanna go to the Monserrate. This was a good one. Cabo de Roca. The end of the line. Well, I just went ahead and ordered an Uber to take me up the hill to the Montserrat's Palace. Supposedly, one of the most beautiful places in all of Sintra. Last night when we were eating, everybody at the table said, if you haven't gone there, you have to go there. It will blow your mind. It's just too far of a hike. I've hiked a ton since I've been here, so I'm gonna take an Uber. It's only two euro. All right, we made it. Our next stop, our next walk. Again, I'm thankful for no rain. 
Wow, look at that. We're heading down here. <laughs> All right, let's hop across these stones. I'm really excited to see this because what I was told was this was like a an old royalty palace and the insides are just coated in murals. Oh, we're getting somewhere. Don't worry, that is not the palace. That looks like an abandoned palace or something. Let's go take a look. I feel like I'm in the Princess Bride or something. Oh man, I live for stuff like this. Look at this. What is it about abandoned things that look so awesome? I don't know. I can't, can't quite put my finger on it. The unknown maybe? What is that? Oh, this was probably a church. Wouldn't you guess? It's been taken over by the uh, the elements, of course. Let's take a look at the front here. There it is. That's what we just walked through. Beautiful. The whole hillside. Well, that's interesting. Look down in the water. It looks like there's some sort of concrete or stone structure under it that's been covered by the water. These are the ornamental lakes over here. Oh, look at all those lily pads with the flowers on them. And there's our palace right up there. Close. Here's a closed up grotto. But just look at the brickwork. You can tell how old this is. It's very reminiscent of that Roman brickwork we saw in, uh, in Rome. Let's go. It's gonna be almost impossible to get any clean shots for you guys, so sorry about that. Some of the art. This was the billiard room. Wow. This is the drawing room. And this was the music room. You can see all the busts up there. And look at the ceiling.
It says this is a bust of the emperor, but it doesn't say which emperor. Oh cool, they have a model of what this place looks like. I'm not able to show you the whole outside because they have like an entire, like from here all the way over covered in a white tarp because they're doing work. But here at least you can get our uh, ghetto drone view. See what I mean? Well, it is really dark in here, but this is the library. And generally, places I go never really have a scent, but this one definitely does. This has a kind of a musty wood scent. Look at the weapons on the walls. And look at the door. This is the dining room, and that's one of the original chairs, it looks like. Fireplace. They would have had a table right there. Here's the kitchen down here. Let's go take a look. We'll go upstairs after this. Very primitive, but I love all the copper. All right, now let's go upstairs. There's Mr. Mosserat. All right. Let's see what's in here. Oh yeah, look at the detail in the marble. So this kind of helps explain it, that it's slowly falling apart and they're slowly putting it back together. That's what we were seeing. They were scraping and cleaning the tiles and things like that. That's what the, uh, the range in the kitchen would have started out as, and this is how they've cleaned it up, so worth it. Even here you can see where it's starting to break away there and they've repaired the, the moldings. When you see the access area restricted signs on doors, to me, that means there must be some really bad deterioration in there. The rooms connect. There he is. If you can see beyond the construction, what a view. They pretty much have the entire history of the family in here. Now this paper in here says that this was once considered one of the most exclusive and beautiful botanical gardens in the world. bathrooms <laughs> and this would be the view walking out the front door <laughs> and if you can uh, extend your brain beyond all the work here's the other entrance Oh, 
Let's check out that fountain. So I would have to guess that this place has about four entrances, one on every side that you could consider the front entrance, but I think when you have steps on both sides, this is probably the main, main one. What a gorgeous place. Definitely worth coming, not only to this palace, but to Sintra. Always pays to do your homework before you go on a good trip, because just because it's not the main city in the country you're going to doesn't mean you won't find something more interesting than that main city, which I think Sintra has been for me. All right, we're gonna be leaving the palace now. I gotta find some lunch. I think that's a perfect view to end it on. Let's get out of here. Now, happy now, thanks for the failure now.